Hi, my name is Helen O'Connor and welcome to my studio. This week's vlog is slightly different because we had a vis visitor to the studio. Lovely Ella, Ben's girlfriend, popped in for a little bit of help, advice and I got chatting to her and uh, yeah, she's got rather an interesting project. It's about the phenomena of jewellery making on TikTok. It was going to be for a little 10 minute section of this week's vlog. It was so much fun, I thought I'd share it all with you. I hope you enjoy it. So we're in the studio and uh, I've got a visitor. So this is Ella, this is uh, Ben's girlfriend and uh, she's Oh, she's lovely. She's like a, <laughs> she's like a lovely daughter. But um, we're doing, uh, well, not we, actually. Ella's doing a very special project. And uh, she wanted to use my studio. So I thought, well, she can use the studio. She can come on the vlog. So Ella, um, can you explain what the project's about? Yeah, so I'm going to see Taylor Swift. And there is one of her songs that has a lyric. Um, about making friendship bracelets so essentially if her fans have taken it upon themselves to make some bracelets oh my god that's brilliant and um, take them with them and trade them with different people oh that is really great isn't it and um, how many have you got to make? you can make as many as you want I think some, some people go without any and come back with loads some people take I think I've seen videos of people taking like three four hundred um, so there's no like set amount, just as many as you want to make. And, you, and you can make. just swap them with others and have those. Oh, that yeah. is great, isn't it? it? What a really good community to have. And have you got any here that you can show us now? Yeah, not only right now, they're over in my bag. Okay. <laughs> but so I can grab them. She's just going to go nip to a bag. <laughs> so Ella's back. Yeah, she's back from getting her stuff out of the bag. And uh, do you want to show us a few? Yeah, so these ones i'll show you these ones these are a couple of the ones from um that i've done for her latest album which is the torture poets apartment um and a lot of her albums have different sort of um colors to go with them so this album the main color is white with a bit of black so you can see that there's a couple in there um this one for example i think this is the one that i made helen with a different one um so we've got some black silver um, some white and then some pearls as well to go with the theme of the album um, but she has 11 albums in total so there's quite a few to make um, and another one of her most recent albums is Midnight's um, which is mainly blue so you can see a couple of those there as well um, and some of them are names of the songs some of them are lyrics um, just whatever you want like this one's Midnight Rain so we got some blue um, but yeah, some, some red ones. This is really about whatever you want to do. It's just being creative um, and yeah, just having fun with it really. It's not, not anything too serious. That's fantastic. And the colours, they're so vibrant, aren't they? Yeah. I really love your setup here as well. <laughs> um, I feel like I don't want to breathe because they're all <laughs> going to away. Uh, I'm used to working with beads, but not quite so small. Yeah. So how do you find working with these little beads? The they can be quite difficult they they move quite a lot um but trying to th thread them you need through, a good eyesight yeah. oh that's not me then yeah <laughs> and a steady hand to try and actually get them onto the thread i bet and i love that you've got all the different colors in so each one is it an alphabet you buy them in alphabets or yeah. they sets yeah it, it is it's a mixture of both so these these ones here um I went to Hobbycraft and you can make your own little tub. So I just put different oh, different what ones you in. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, whereas like these ones over here I just bought as a set. It, but this is fantastic collection here. Um really is well, it is fantastic. And I can see you've got numbers in here as yeah. well. Do you ever use the numbers? Yeah, a couple of her albums have um numbers in them. So she has a song called Twenty Two, so you use some of those. Um, and then there's also like chants and um, little things like that that people say within the concert that have numbers. So and sometimes the letters run low, so we can we can use a one for an L and oh, I, something like great that. So idea. Just using different different bits. Oh but, no, that's really good. Yeah. 
and I think the camera's picking up all these wonderful colours as well here. So which is your favourite colour on here? I do like the blues and the purples, especially yeah. the ones that have like a bit of a shimmer and a, and a sheen to them and a bit of glitter. Can't say no to a bit of glitter. Yeah. Yeah. So I know you've made uh, lots of these now. I mean, yeah. how many all together have you made? So at the minute I've got 89. 89. I'm not just making them for myself <gasps> though. I'm making some for my sister and my best friend. Oh, so I'm the designated bracelet maker. That but I've still good, got a, a few more I did offer, by the way. I did <laughs> offer, honest. Yeah. But, um, but no, you're all set up and you know what you're doing. Yeah. And um, what type of elastic have you... Because I know you've used several types of elastic. Yeah. And what's the best one you found to use so, for this project? Yeah, I've used a couple. I bought one just based off recommendation. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. And the other ones I've used um, are just like the little bits that you get in with the packs. But I think this one, which is the Stretch Magic, um, I think the the thinner one as well obviously because the beads are so small to make sure that the beads fit on there properly but I found that with some of them like I mentioned to you before when I was tying them they snap which is not ideal um but it's quite stretchy so it doesn't yeah that doesn't that's the one manage. I would use is the stretch magic yeah I like to see it in different colors but it's very difficult to get it over here in different colors yeah it seems to be the black and the and the clear so hopefully we can get some colors in because that would be great yeah um so what how do you know what sizes of bracelet to make well you don't really I sort of go off my my wrist I don't know whether mine's an average but a couple of them are to my size um, I've used my sister's wrists and my my family as well, but just in general, making some smaller ones, um, just in case. I know there's a lot of children that go there, um, and a couple of bigger ones as well, because people like to stack them quite far up their wrists. So oh, they have a few, yeah. Yeah, the further up the arm you go, then obviously you want it a bit oh, wow. bigger. So. so some people would have a whole album then at their yeah, arm. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, I think they try and get on as many as they as they can. And I know tonight you came along because you wanted to, um, you've got some uh, boots, are they? Con yeah, Converse. And uh, they wear these Converse to the to the shows. Yeah. And they actually string then beads and another album, is it? Yeah. Name of a mat album, around the back of the heel. And I know that's what you're looking to do tonight. So yes. we discussed this and we thought the best thing to do was add two lobster claw clasps either side and then we can clip them on so when you've done that i'd love a a, a picture of that yeah, yeah, and then of course. we can share it with everybody in a in another vlog i think yeah. that'd be really interesting um i wondered if you'd like to show us how how you make one uh because there'd be lots of people out there you know with, with um that are going to taylor swift yeah. or that are looking to do stuff you know with their children or grandchildren and i think this is a, such a lovely idea a lovely project because you could choose any album i mean you could have a, you could have, have elvis's albums <laughs> that's what i fancy if you yeah. elvis are or james blunt you know me and james, james blunt. blunt yeah we could have his albums you know on our on our wrists yeah so i quite fancy that idea <laughs> So let's uh, see how you make it then, Ella, please. Yeah. That would be lovely. Of course. You can give all, our, all your secrets away. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't cut the string straight away. I do it at the end just in case um, there's not enough room to tie it. I find that I like quite a lot of room to tie the bracelet at the end. So I always leave it on the reel. Um, and then I've picked my colours out where you can see it on, on one of the shots. Um and sometimes I'll do a specific pattern. Sometimes I'll just pick up random ones so it looks a bit more like I haven't exactly planned out what I'm doing. Um, but I do like a mix of colours. I think it adds a bit more. Um, so all I'll do is take up, if I can pick them up again, they are quite small, is pick up the beads. Um, and just... I'm just uh, getting my little wand out and seeing if I can zoom the other camera in a bit. Hang on, bear with, bear with. There, I think there I go. think that's a good uh, a good view. Yeah. Don't worry too much. As long as you <laughs> sort of stay on the border area, I think they'll be able to yeah. be able to see see your hands a bit. Wow. Yeah. So just going in, obviously, just threading. Can I just say first of all, yeah. I love your nails. They are very good. Oh, I'm getting them please, done tomorrow. Please, <laughs> can you show show the camera your nails? They, they are. Quite I don't know if you can see. see them. They're the peach colour, and they've got little flowers on. Yeah. They, are they hand painted, or are they decals or? Decals? No, my, the, the woman who does my nails, she does them by hand. She paints them by hand. 
Well, yeah. I'm. I, I've got to go there because I'm. Well, I'm ashamed. I'm not giving you a show because I've been wire working today, and look, they're all checked. So <laughs> they desperately need doing, but yeah, again, they look lovely. Tomorrow. She always got lovely nails. <laughs> Lush. So, right. Yeah. Sorry. Ella. That's all right. Um. So yeah. Again, they are very small, so you've got to make sure you know. Where Have you you're going. Tri tried the method of? Um, making a, a wire a wire needle yeah I did and how did you find that? that a lot easier especially with, with the bigger beads um that have a bigger hole in them to be able to thread them on it didn't make as much of a difference but these ones that are smaller it made a massive difference do you want me to get you one now if you want to <laughs> Bear with, I'm just going to nip <laughs> off and see if I can get them um, or make up a needle. So here we are then, Ella. I've got you, you your needle. So I just make those out of wire. I fold them in half. That one is a 0.25 wire. Um, I just put them on the twister and give them a good twist. And it makes a brilliant uh, beading, beading needle. Um, the other one I used, give you before, was 0.4 twisted. Yeah. It was a little bit too big for these type of beads. So if you're doing this type of thing, yeah, a little, a little thread, a little 0.25 wire is, is appropriate. Lovely, thank you very much. That's okay. Yeah, so this does make I'll things a bit easier. pop the kettle on a in a <laughs> <laughs> This does make things a bit easier. Um, obviously the wire is a bit... Not the wire, the um, cord is a bit flimsy, so sometimes it doesn't go where you want it to go. Um, but I'm just continuing on with the pattern that I've done previously um, and just putting it onto the wire. And then when I'm ready, I'll push them all off and onto the string. And how did you first hear about this? Um, I mean... I watch a lot of TikTok, so um, yeah, it just kind of came up on there. But obviously, my well, my best friend, she's a big fan of Taylor Swift, so we talk about it a lot. Um, but yeah, there's her tour this year has been a very big thing, so a lot of people have posted on TikTok and all over social media, um, and yeah, it kind of made it a big a big thing. So I love it. I I think it's a brilliant idea. And uh, let's hope more bands do it as well. Yeah, I think I think it is starting to cross over into more um, concerts and doing it for different shows. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I remember think years is. ago, um, I worked for uh, let's say a, a beading company, and we were discussing Ed Sheeran's mum was yeah. making bracelets for the fans oh, and they were called she? sweetie bracelets I, I, you're probably too too young to know about these yeah. and they were sweetie bracelets and uh, she used to actually I knew where she was getting the beads from um, but unfortunately the, the, the beads that she was using she was using them for a few years and then it discontinued yeah. but uh, yeah she had uh, she was a wonderful uh, jewellery maker for this type of thing. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I think perhaps it's been around a little while. It's just yeah. we don't get to hear about these things. Yeah. And um, and when we do, I mean, it really is fantastic. I think, you know, to bring everybody together like that, it means that you, you make friends yeah. at the concert as well. So as well as listening to the music, you're all sharing great energy so everyone's you know got a bit of energy going round and then obviously because you're hand making you've got the energy and your bracelets as well i think it's a brilliant idea yeah. and um yeah i i'm definitely in so uh, not sure if i'll get to go to the concert because i haven't been invited <laughs> but i've got a lovely one mine is see if you can see it so mine is uh clara bow yeah so Clara Bow is, uh, we looked her up, is uh, a 1920s movie star. Yeah. She was mainly in um, the black and white and also was it the, the silent, silent movies. Yeah. Um, and amazing actress, uh, a bit scatterbrained, so perhaps that's why I've chosen this one, I don't know. But, um, but I love, there's a story behind that as well, that... Um, why Taylor Swift has yeah. chosen chosen Clara Bow. Um, so I don't know if you wanted to have a little chat about that. Yeah, so, I mean, the song 
um, Clara Bow, she's kind of referenced, obviously her, she was kind of known for being a bit, kind of, not nutty, but like, she kind Eccentric, of- Eccentric, we like yeah, to say but around like, I think she kind, I think the, f like the fame, um, the fame, like, not got to her, but- I think I she was a very hum to say. she was a very humble person. I think, yeah. and what happened was the fame was just too much. Too she much. Was, she that's was overwhelmed. What, yeah. yeah, and it became too much for her. That's what I was trying to say. The the fame was too much, and so essentially in her song, she's kind of like always saying that no matter what industry you're in, um, there's always gonna be the next like it girl. Um, and so she references and she says like you look like Clara Bow, which is essentially somebody saying to the next it girl you look like her and you're gonna be like her you're the it girl yeah you're, and as, you're, you're the one in yeah, yeah in the exactly. limelight like you're gonna progress up to what what she is now um and like progress and took the song then she references people to like stevie nicks who was obviously massive in her time and then at the end taylor swift and she's saying that like some someday there's gonna be the next taylor swift she will yeah she is the one in the limelight yeah so after her somebody will reference her yeah. and i think it's amazing you know to to recognize not just the limelight that's there yeah. and you know how um how fantastic their lives must be but also that overwhelm and obviously yeah. taylor swift must feel some of that as well you know um maybe the imposter syndrome i don't know if you've heard about that yeah. you know where you you think well why why is it happening to me and it, it's always in a good way but you always think well why she must have a bit of a, that about her yeah. to um to recognize herself as clara bow so yeah. i think that's fantastic and it's really great as well that youngsters that are starting to sing or want to become famous it's not an easy road not yeah. that i would know but i mean she's that's what she's discussing is you know it's not yeah. an easy road and and that um just like clara bow you're gonna hit you're gonna hit lots of problems yeah. and it's it could come times when you've got to fight your way through you know put your big girl pants on and fight your way through that should be a, on your on your, one of your bracelets <laughs> big girl pants yeah yeah so i'll leave you get on with this now again sorry yeah, that's all right so i don't know if you can see but i've just added a little star if you um, the, the cam the big camera's up there yeah right so i don't know if you can see but i've just added a little star there we go so um yeah Brilliant. i like to add in some different beads you and there just to to break it up a little bit so it's not all all the same so what you do now moving them off the yeah so i've just moved them off onto the actual cord itself yeah um and then obviously i'll continue to add yeah. the new ones on here um and keep going and add them all. so at the end when you get to the end um i know previously we did have a chat about this yes. and you would just knot them and you'd have a string of knots yeah um, are you going to carry on with that, or if uh, we were discussed about adding a bead to hide, to hide the knots? Do you think you know that could be a possibility in the future? Yeah, I mean, usually I do just um, tie them out of. Well, you've got to make so many. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Purely out of time, and I'm trying to get as many as I can because um, obviously I want to take as many as I can to be able to give them to people. Um, but I'm happy to add a bead to cover it. Um, and we can we can do that because I mean I've never done it no you you do you do you you do you boo <laughs> you know that that's what it's about you know we're all we're all different and we're all doing our own thing and nobody's right or wrong no and I don't like rules you know when yeah. they say oh you can't do this or you can't oh, with jewelry making you know give it a go um when i get the old flames out i'm the same i think oh do you know what? i'm just gonna give it a go yeah somebody said you can't do something i think oh well you know i can <laughs> <laughs> i'll do what i yeah, want to do you, you do you you do you and everybody else can do themselves as well yeah i am pretty impressed with all these beads and uh, i know you were here the other night yeah and when you came the other night we were we were looking at the beads and ben is petrified of him isn't he <laughs> he is yeah She's absolutely traumatized my I son i think i think i am I, the, the my worst fear is dropping them and them just mixing and going everywhere because i don't have the time nor patience to sit there 
and put them all back together. It does make me laugh because she'll she'll be in in the bedroom and have them on your lap when you're <laughs> on the bed, and he's like that. Yeah. I can't move. I can't move. I can't speak because <laughs> he's frightened and knocking the beads yeah. all over the place. I, I mean, I drove you earlier, and and when I took them home on um like on that, Sunday, they were in my passenger seat of the car with a seatbelt on them so that they didn't move. Seat belt. I drove the whole <laughs> way home with my one hand like this, holding them on the seat. Oh my word! There's no. It's because. When I got those, like I said, when I got those from Hobbycraft, I made yeah. my own little tub and I had to go home with my sister and separate them out one by oh, one into no, this yeah. setup. Um, so, yeah, I just don't have the time for that. Well, again. I don't like to say, but there's a few orange who jumped in with the white. I know. Is that really doing your head in? Not at the minute, because oh. I haven't got to the point where I... You're like, okay. Where, when I get the whites out, mainly the whites come out. But if they were like half and half, that would really Oh, that would, me. yeah. Yeah, oh, I get that. I love that you've got different um, makes as well. Yeah. So you've got, I can see you've got um, like the plasticky type of bead. But then you've also got the glass bead with the um, the Aurora. Is it called yeah. the Aurora? The different colours. So I don't know if that's picking that up. But yeah, it's got a bit of a tint to it. It's yeah. not just one No, I think colour. it's like um, silver inlaid or something like that inside and it gives a spectrum of colours. So I love how you mix and match, you know. You don't yeah. mind putting them all together and uh, and they're great bracelets. Yeah. I think uh, the, the mix, I prefer the mix of colour. It just gives it a bit more dimension than just one Yeah, me too. To I, th I think it's a good idea. It kind of yeah. spices it now, up. Now, I, I normally would go for a bit of colour, but it's just that I love Clara Bow. And actually, the black and white, I do wear yeah. a lot of black. And, um, the pearls, I think. I think the pearls nice as the well. Gold. Yeah, I think, I think it does sort of... It's me, you know? It yeah. is me. So I, I absolutely adore mine. So thank you very much. <laughs> That's the only thing, making them. You get, like... You not a connection, but you're like, oh, I really like that one, and then you're like, oh, I don't want to give it to somebody else. <laughs> so I'm a bit I like, that one. <laughs> I'm gonna have two wrists for my one wrist is oh, gonna yes. be. Oh yes, you're gonna have to do your own. Yeah, my one wrist is gonna be these are the bracelets that I'm keeping, and my other wrist is gonna be these are the ones that you can have. <laughs> oh, and on the ones that you're keeping, is it a specific album? Um, no, not really. There's a couple of songs that I like. So, like I said, I've made. I, I've covered every album, so I'm just going with what ones look like they have the least amount. But there's, there's a couple of songs with them, but some I just like the colour or like if they've got gold or like pearls, like the combination on some yeah, of them I just yeah. like. You just like the actual, how it looks, as yeah. well as the album name. Yeah. So is it album names or, or songs or is it both? Both. Oh, it is both. Yeah, it's a mix of everything. There's, like I said, there's album names, song names, lyrics... There's like quotes that she's said that are like not specific to an album, but just wow. in general. So there's a bit of everything we cater yeah. to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and haven't the um, haven't the haven't you got like a nickname as fans? Swifties. Swifties. <laughs> I thought it yes. was. I couldn't remember what it was, but uh, yes. So you're a Swiftie. Is Ben a Swiftie too? To be honest, I think I have converted him to a Swifty. You know? Oh, that's okay then. So you're going to yeah. make him. A, you're going to have to make him a bracelet. Yeah, he does. He does sing along. To, oh, to there the we songs. are. Yeah, have to get does. him in and sing along. Yeah, <laughs> he, he he does. To, I mean, to be fair, you'll listen to everything. He he'll let me put Taylor Swift on in the car. And he he don't moan about it. So. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, I think it's absolutely fascinating. And you know, when you came and said, "Oh, can can you help me? Or can you look at this?" and and this table's brilliant, isn't it? And the studio. Yeah. The studio, uh, when people come in, always say it's so bright and cheerful. And the energy in here, I only talk about jewellery. It's only positive stuff that goes on in here. And you can feel it, can't you? Yeah, I think it's like, part of it is just the light that's coming in. I don't feel like I'm sat in a dark room and it just allows you to be a bit more productive and creative, I think. It is. It's lovely, it's isn't just, it? The light's yeah. fantastic in here. And... Um, I really think that um, all the, you know, all this jewellery making as well is is generational. Like, oh gosh, you probably could be my granddaughter, really. <laughs> um, and it, it really is. It's not just for 
the older people as it used to be years yeah. ago, you know. It was all about us, really. But now, generations on, you know, even though you've got your iPads and you're on your TikTok, yeah. all that is combined. So out of TikTok has come this amazing collaboration and community of um, Swifties. And yes. uh, that's, that's wonderful, isn't it? I mean, we all talk about um all like tiktok and all the social medias and saying well is it good for the youngsters and all that yeah but it develops it sort of grows with us all and um at the end of the day we're all really happy working with our hands i think yeah. production with your hands because in the daytime you you don't do you work in an office yeah exactly so you're typing and yeah on your computer um so really this is your productive time this is yeah. your time out yeah. and i think that's really important too do you find it like quite therapeutic when you're doing it yeah it's a nice break in all fairness sometimes like especially with these breaks that's trying to find the time but um in my lunch break i'll do a lot of stuff like this just to kind of give myself a break like seven hours on a computer staring at the screen all day is a, it's a long time. it is a lot isn't it yeah yeah so to so... have that productive that that me time yeah that creative time is very special isn't it yeah exactly so we nearly yes we're nearly so done. is this now a bracelet or is this going to be for the back of your hmm i see this is a bracelet the ones i'm going to okay. do for my um shoes i've written on but i got a bit carried away and just kept doing the beads <laughs> so i think the ones for the shoe are probably better off on beading wire yeah than uh, elastic so we'll we'll get the beading wire going and um and maybe we can we can show show the you know the people watching another time yeah when, you, when we've done one or maybe what we could do is a little another little show and we can show them how you make the um the boots the the converse yeah the little links on the converse and so does everybody wear converse and does everybody have this little um no, a lot of people, for this concert specifically, a lot of people are wearing cowboy boots, but I... Oh, my word! I value the comfort <laughs> of my feet too much I to be wearing cowboy, cowboy boots. boots. So I'm I I'm working decided... on a collection now. Ew. Yeah, a metal collection, um, a Australian silver collection, and um, it's on cowboy boots, because <laughs> I'm just obsessed. They, to obsessed. be fair, they're all the rage now. A lot of people, like, like I said, to many different concerts, they wear cowboy boots, but... Yeah, they just I prefer comfort, so I'm going. Con a lot of pe a lot of people though have done the idea of the converse. Yeah, um, with the, and putting beads the, on them. Yeah. yeah, I think it's. So we'll ha yeah. definitely have a look at that next time. So let's see what you're going to do now. So I'm just pulling these down so that they're all on just one bit of okay. one bit of wire because where we looped it through yeah. the needle, I'll call it. Um, we've got two bits of wire. Lovely. And if you can hear anything going on in the background, it's Andrew. And Ben. You're interrupting our filming time. Look at it. Get off my channel. <laughs> right, can you two be quiet? We're Done. nearly finished. Just wait, just wait until you watch this back. I tell you all, there's some funny clips when you're over there. Like ready? Yeah. So where are we at now with um, making of the bracelets? I'm just pulling the final bit of wire out of the needle at the end so that we can tie it. Of course, you could cut it off. Yeah, you could, but I'm not wasting but the wire. if you're going to use use it again, yeah. Yeah, so... So you've got your elastic on there. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another bead to this side. What should I go for? I'm going to go for a pearl. So I'm just going to add that... Can I suggest something? Yes. If you put a bigger hole, <laughs> a bead with a bigger hole on, yeah, and try knotting and pulling that over, just to, to be fair, that this might work. I think this is the right. You go for it. You no, go for only it. because I was going to say this is. I think the bead with the biggest hole oh, out right. of the rest of them. Okay, there's not many that have got a right. hole. So what I do is I like, like I said, I like quite a bit. So I. Use about this much wire, yeah. leave that at the end, um, and I'll just tip them up so that they're towards that yeah. side. Yeah, so they're all on there. And then measure out the same amount the other side, or roughly the same okay. amount, 
and then I use my little clippers which snippy, sometimes snip, snip. don't work. There we go. I love a snippy snip snip. And then just and then so to tie it I just do two I don't know if these have a special name but just two normal knots. Like I think this. it's called uh, a, a surgeon knot in the January. Yeah. yeah, but to be honest, a knot's a knot really. A, yeah, a knot. As long as yeah. it keeps it all together, yeah. then that's what we're looking for. And just pull that tight. And do you, do you like to add um, anything like um, nail varnish or anything to, to seal it or glue? No, I've ne not myself. I've You're never quite done happy. that. Yeah. You're quite I'm happy just, with with them, I'm like not that. too fussy, to be honest. With well, you way. are. You're a bit of well, a perfectionist. I am, but... But right. um, this. for this project, it's better to be done, isn't it? Because you've got a lot to do. Yeah, if I was making a couple, then obviously I'd take yeah. a bit more time to I think, make sure that they're perfect. Yeah. But when you're making, like, I'm trying to aim for at least 100. Oh, wow. So That's when I'm trying amazing. to make that many, then I'm kind of a bit like... And I mean, the concert's Thursday and it's currently yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. So I haven't got much time left. Um, but yeah, to just finish that off, then I'll do another knot. I think also, if you're selling, then obviously you yeah. need to put that yeah, exactly. extra, you know, when you're selling something, you it's got to be quality and it's got to, you've got to know yeah. 100% that it's going to, it's going to be do what it does, which is go on your wrist. Yeah. So obviously then it's slightly different as these will be gifting out. Yeah, exactly. So it, it really, it's. You need the quantity to take with you to be able to swap them over. Yeah. So I get that, yeah. Yeah. So once that's tied... But they're then, really strong, I've got to say. Yeah. Mine is... I mean, mine unbudged. Yeah, really in all strong. fairness, and like I said yeah. at the beginning, since I've been using this Stretch Magic cord, it's, I've, I've been quite lucky in that I've only had, like, one or two snaps. <laughs> I and mean, do they fly across the room then? Yeah, I, and then I make my sister pick them all up. Oh, do you? <laughs> um, yeah, but this this is Hi, quite Bethany, stretchy. Hi, Bethany, by the way. <laughs> yeah, um, give her a little shout out. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, it, it, I mean, they are they are quite stretchy. Like I said, there's, there's ones that I've made quite small and I can fit them on my wrist without... It's not the most comfortable, but they fit on there. They don't snap, is what I'm saying. Um... But yeah, so I finished tying it, so I've done the two normal knots and then another one then at the top to secure it. Brilliant. Um and then all I do is just I give it a little I give it a little stretch first just to make sure that it's that oh, it's okay. Good idea. And then I cut it as close as I can. This is another issue that I've had, cutting it too close and then the whole thing's come undone. That's happened a couple of times. Oh, yeah, when you when you haven't uh, secured that knot. Yeah, so I'll just cut it. Yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It picks and chooses. Um, and then, yeah, that's your... That is fantastic. Your bracelet. And thank you for telling us all about these bracelets. It's okay. And I, I'm sure everyone out there and myself would say have a fantastic time. Let us know yeah. how it gets on. Oh, I definitely and love And we good will time. do a video. If you don't mind coming back, we'll do another one on your boots, on your yeah, canvas. Of course. And maybe we'll do some other stuff because you're you're a little natural little jewellery maker here. <laughs> so uh, I think that you'll be back and I'll, I'll have, I'm going to have you on the soldier as well soon. So it's <laughs> always so nice to have somebody in the studio because it can be quite lonely sometimes. Yeah. So it's really nice to have you here, Ella. And thank you thank ever you so much me. for allowing us to watch you and listen to, uh, to uh, all about being a Swifty. Thank you very much. So thank you everyone everyone else out there that's watching really appreciate you all and um remember to, to create, create the, the life you love, love. <laughs> thank you everyone <laughs> <laughs> i knew you were gonna do that i was waiting for i kiss everybody so that's okay <laughs> <laughs>